After a victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley, seven nights ago on Monday Night Raw, all hell broke loose on the road to Backlash. Lashley picked up a win at WrestleMania, but his momentum came to a screeching halt last week by hands of the defiant LA Knight. And as you can see, Lashley not very amused by the actions of the defiant one after an incredible main event here on Monday Night Raw. Well, the action didn't stop there as Seth Rollins took matters into his own hands, ambushing LA Knight from behind. Knight and Lashley both targeting the WWE Championship and Kevin Owens, something that Seth Rollins has had on his mind ever since losing the gold back at WrestleMania. Seth Rollins and LA Knight coming to blows at the top of the ramp while the almighty Bobby Lashley looked on. And we found out over the last week what is to come in just under three weeks when we get to the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico for the live premiere event of Backlash. It is coming your way courtesy of Monday Night Raw. It is going to be a fatal four-way matchup for the WWE title. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the Defiant, LA Knight, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, and the WWE champion, Kevin Owens. Owens cannot be happy about having to fight three challengers, but at the same time, it's right up KO's alley. But Owens is gonna get a little early preview of Backlash later tonight as he teams up with the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, to take on the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, as well as Carmelo Hayes. Very interesting tag team matchup that I'm sure is gonna have heavy Backlash implications. Well, we are live tonight from the XL Center, Hartford, Connecticut, as we begin to kick off Monday Night Raw. And kicking things off tonight is another tag team affair. The Carolina boys, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes have come together within the last few months here on the Red Brand. Tonight they look to test their talents against a team that has been targeting Jay and Jimmy, the Usos, for the world tag team titles over the last number of weeks. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford need to rake up the victories if they want to earn number one contendership. And at a combined weight, 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Well, let us take you back to last week in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Montez Ford one-on-one -on -one with main event Jey Uso of the World Tag Team Champions. Awesome matchup to kick things off in the Giant Center. Jey Uso looking to get a measure of revenge over Montez Ford after the Street Profits ambushed the Usos just a few weeks before WrestleMania back in February. But unfortunately for main event Jey Uso, Montez Ford had the number of the Usos last week, awarding either one of the Usos their very first loss since the team made their return back in January. That has got to be some heavy momentum on the side of young Montez Ford as well as Angelo Dawkins as the Street Profits look to this matchup tonight to solidify their spot at the top of the line. They want the Usos. They want the World Tag Team titles. Their road continues here tonight. Once again, we want to welcome you to Monday Night Raw. We are live from the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, just under three weeks from Backlash. And of course, we are two weeks away from the 2024 Draft Lottery, which is going to take place right here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly some exciting action coming up in the next few weeks, but Monday Night Raw hot and heavy rolling into Hartford as we kick things off with Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits taking on Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. As we mentioned, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes came together a couple of months ago. Fought it out in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Did not make it too far, but they have tested their luck against some of the best teams here on Raw. Maybe tonight will be the night they turn it all around. Look at Cedric go. Alexander and Grimes both were in pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship back in 2023. Both looking for new avenues here on Monday Night Raw. Maybe the tag team division is where they get it done. Cameron Grimes getting tagged in a little duos action by those Carolina boys. But again, ladies and gentlemen, not one but two tag team matches on deck here tonight in a sold out XL Center in your main event. The Visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. My goodness, that was a freaking super kick Shawn Michaels would be proud of. Tonight in your main event, Seth Rollins alongside Carmelo Hayes, who has been targeting the Intercontinental Championship as of late. They go 2v2 against the champion Sami Zayn and the WWE Champion, 
Kevin Owens. And, you know, we said at the top of the hour just a few moments ago, you know, I'm sure Owens is not that happy about having to defend his WWE Championship in a fatal four-way matchup at Backlash. But on the same coin, you gotta imagine Kevin Owens is thriving to get his hands on each and every one of these superstars who's been calling him out over the last few weeks. Rollins with the ambush two weeks ago. Lashley at LA Knight had words on social media. Backlash in just under three weeks, a chance for Kevin Owens to turn away all the challengers at once and solidify his spot as the face of Monday Night Raw. So that tag team matchup coming up later tonight, as is this women's division matchup as the number one contender for the WWE Women's title. The buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Cora Jade, who's been making some waves as of late here on Monday Night Raw. We'll talk more about that situation when those two women are locked inside the middle of the ring later tonight here on the Red Brand. Let's focus in on the action as Angelo Dawkins and Cameron Grimes duke get it out here in the middle of the square. It's Circle and Cameron Grimes looking to ring the bell of Big AD. Dawkins and Ford looking to march one step closer to challenging the Usos for the World Tag Team titles in the near future, but not if they fall short in their race to the finish line against Grimes and Cedric Alexander tonight. Grimes mixing it up with Montez Ford, but he got caught as Dawkins is back into the ring, and you don't want to mess with that man. Dawkins has got that dog in him. And muscling down Cameron Grimes right now. The big man of this matchup is Angelo Dawkins. Street Profits know what it's like to hold championship gold. They've done it all across the WWE, but the last few years or so here in the WWE, simply have not gone the way of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic here on Monday Night Raw. Dating back a couple months ago really was the nail in the coffin for Dawkins and Ford to flip the switch, get refocused, and do what they gotta do, even if it means getting their hands dirty along the way to regain contention ship for the Tag Team titles. Well, again, not if Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander got anything to say about it, but another duck. Cameron Grimes did not find his way back into this matchup. Got to give credit where it's due. The Street Profits have been looking sharp as of late. Ever since they ambushed the Usos just a few weeks before WrestleMania here on Monday Night Raw, Dawkins and Ford have flipped the switch. A new attitude about them. Will that new attitude bleed success? Cedric Alexander off the top by way of Cameron Grimes. You know, it is partially a shame that Dawkins and Ford had to go down a dark alley because they were starting to make some noise in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Made it through the first round as well as the semis and just fell short to the Usos in the finals back at the Elimination Chamber. But that loss was, again, that final nail in the coffin that sent Ford and Dawkins over the edge. And now it has brought them here. And you can't say the new attitude hasn't brought them success because you got to believe the Street Profits are right on the line and about to cross it for becoming number one contenders. Tonight may be a telling story as Montez Ford over the top, taking down Cedric at ringside. One thing we have never done, regardless of attitude, is knock the efforts of the Street Profits. Amazing talents inside of that ring, but so is the Carolina boys, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. Some great action to kick things off here in the XL Center, but remember, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday night, April the 13th, we will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico for Backlash. This could be our second live premiere event that week. Monday Night Raw, two weeks from tonight, will be a live premiere event as well for the draft lottery of 2024. As Cedric hoisting Ford up in the air, but another reversal by the Street Profits. Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander showing signs of life in this matchup, but the Street Profits working like a well-oiled machine. Obviously, the tag team experience on hand of the Street Profits tonight. Cedric and Grimes only with a number of matches standing along the same side of the ring with each other. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins looking to use that tag team experience to their advantage. Much needed tag to Cameron Grimes. Full head of steam here, just hitting Ford at the shoulder block. Ford trying to create some distance, however. Does not want the fresh superstar changing the pace of this match, but it may be too late. Spanish fly by Grimes. 
And a close call there for the Street Profits. Cameron Grimes exploding on the scene here in Hartford, Connecticut tonight. Montez Ford looks like he doesn't know what hit him as Grimes revving up the engines, looking to go to the moon with the Bulldog. Tag made to Cedric, tag made to AD. Fresh legs on both sides of the squared circle, and it goes to the Carolina boys momentarily. Watch your back, Dawkins with a pounce. Oh man, business picking up here in your opening matchup in Hartford, Connecticut. Now Angelo Dawkins looking to slow down the pace, not to be denied, is Cedric Alexander. Back and forth, the waves of momentum start to move right now. Dawkins to his feet, Cedric Alexander's gonna try to find a way to keep down the big man. And that's a way to take him down. Alexander, a former champion as well, former cruiserweight champion here in the WWE, tag team champion, was just on the verge of winning the Intercontinental Championship multiple occasions in 2023. Maybe 2024 is where Cedric, as well as Cameron Grimes, turn it all around. There's a tag made to Montez Ford, the Street Profits now, trying to find a way back into this matchup, and there's a little duo's action. I am sure the Usos have got their eyes on this matchup, looking at their potential challengers. And Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, but could very well be Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes if they somehow pick up the victory tonight. Gotta believe the Street Profits are riding a newfound confidence after that singles victory that Montez Ford picked up seven nights ago against main event Jey Uso here on Raw. Ford outrunning Cameron Grimes. Ain't nothing you could do about it that time. To the heavens, Ford goes. Cameron Grimes, an opportune position. Ford keeping it simple yet effective. Grimes and Cedric trying to keep each other fresh, but the Street Profits are really starting to rev up the engines. And ain't nowhere to go. Montez Ford is laser focused right now. This is what the Street Profits need to be. This is what they got to do. They said over the last few weeks that the Usos have had a target on their back since their Monday Night Raw return, and even more so now that they're the World Tag Team Champions. But Dawkins and Ford have put their own target on their back with their actions towards the Usos. And another close call. But you got to believe that Cedric Alexander has still got something left in the tank. Somehow trying to find a way to kick out. Going from the heavens is Ford. Nobody to be found in the drop zone. Close call on both sides of the ring. Roll up here by Montez. Will that do it? Not just yet. Cedric Alexander getting the shoulder up. Meanwhile, back of your corner, Angelo Dawkins taking care of Cameron Grimes. Action to keep up with all over the place, and Montez Ford from the heavens. And that is going to do it. The Street Profits with an emphatic statement made here in the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Got to give credit where it's due. The young team of Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes trying to put the pieces together. But a more veteran experienced team in the Street Profits racing to the finish line first here tonight on Raw. Here are your winners, Montez Bulls and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. After Montez Ford's singles victory last week in this tag team pickup tonight, there may be no denying that the Street Profits have claimed number one contendership to Jay and Jimmy Uso's world tag team title. Will it be made official? All remains to be seen here on Raw. Well, if you are not heading over to TikTok each and every Wednesday, you have missed out on some incredible action on behalf of SmackDown's Cruiserweight division and two bruisers from Monday Night Raw. Velocity is each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. And we can confirm that coming up in just 48 hours, the megastar, LA Knight, on his road to Backlash is back in action and he goes one-on-one -on -one with Trick Williams, who we will see in action later tonight alongside Carmelo Hayes and Seth Rollins. 
Not necessarily in action, but at ringside, you get the point. Nonetheless, Trick Williams, one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight, 48 hours from now, only on Velocity. We are back inside the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, and the doom and gloom has come upon Monday Night Raw. The harbinger of doom, this sinister destroyer, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross in action for the first time since WrestleMania, but not the first time he plans to get his hands dirty since. I'm going to take you back to two weeks ago. Madison Square Garden, the Celtic warrior Sheamus battling it out with Kevin Owens for the WWE title. An unsuccessful effort by Sheamus on that night. Unfortunately, his night did not end inside the ring. He got back to the backstage area and WWE.com cameras caught up on this exclusive footage where Karrion Cross ambushed Sheamus in between those hallowed halls of Madison Square Garden. Cross and Sheamus have had issues for months here on Monday Night Raw, really well-documented issues for over a year at this point on Monday Night Raw. On and off between Cross and Sheamus, they always find their way back to each other, but WrestleMania really took it to a new level in this man's mind. It was back at AT&T Stadium, where the Brawling Brutes turned away. Joe Gacy, Baron Corbin, and of course the team was led by this man, carrying Cross in the six-man tag team matchup. Cross has not forgotten. He may not have had his shoulders pinned to the canvas on that night, but a loss is a loss, and Cross is not done with the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Obviously, Sheamus is been home ever since that attack in Madison Square guarding nursing the injuries getting put through a table down to the concrete floor just moments after a war with Kevin Owens inside of that ring and I'm sure Karrion Cross hopes to never see Sheamus come back nonetheless Karrion Cross back in action for the first time since the grandest stage of them all and I am sure is laser focused on rebuilding some momentum here on the red brand Well, as our truth makes his way to the ring, we want to remind you that two weeks from tonight, Monday Night Raw is officially being taken over by the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. It is a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Superstars from Raw and SmackDown are going to be in the building. Who is going where? Monday Night, April the 8th. Two weeks from tonight, live here on Raw, the 2024 WWE Draft. Our truth could be on his way to Friday Night SmackDown for all we know. But tonight he comes down the aisle looking to build some momentum for himself. You know, we've seen truth in action over the last few months on Raw, taking on LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. Not matches that have gone the way of our truth, but maybe his luck will be a little bit different. Or maybe not. I guess carrying Cross. I mean, look, easier said than done. Let's just be real about it. But our truth in the ring tonight. Got to give him some credit. Step it up to the plate. Step it up to the challenge. Nonetheless, all changes with the bell sounds and carrying Cross immediately out of the gate. You had to expect this out of Cross. The fire coming out of him. Since that loss at WrestleMania, the ambush to Sheamus two weeks ago, backstage in the garden. Bell sounding for the first time with Kerry and Cross in it in a number of weeks, and Cross is not looking for an embarrassing loss here tonight. But R Truth, on the other hand, looking to turn his luck around. R Truth not looking to be like another Monday Night Raw superstar, the A list superstar in the Miz, and have a losing streak just continue to fall right in front of his feet. Our truth looking to bounce back, but again, easier said than done when you're in there. Somebody like Karrion Cross. Nothing away from Karrion Cross. Couple of losses over the last few months. And big time at that. One at WrestleMania in the six man tag, as we mentioned. Remember that no disqualifications match with Kevin Owens back at the Elimination Chamber, but. Marion Cross, a man who was hot on the heels of winning the WWE Championship on several occasions in 2023. Couple of nights of bad luck for Cross, but maybe this new season, this 2024 2025 season, has kicked off over the last few weeks, will bring new fortune to the Harbinger of Doom. All remains to be seen. All about getting those victories inside the squared circle, as Cross knows very well. 
which is why that loss has stuck with him so much ever since WrestleMania. And as we mentioned, I am sure Karrion Cross is looking to never see Sheamus across the squared circle again. Looking to start anew here tonight on Raw. Ragdoll in our truth that time. I don't know who Truth pissed off in the locker room to draw this straw tonight, but certainly not the opponent he could have been hoping for. I don't know if you want to start throwing strikes with carrying cross our truth. May not be the best idea. My goodness. Our truth hanging in there. Hartford behind him. Well, look at he goes. Our truth getting fired up here in the XL Center. Taken down, carrying cross. What does he got here? Truth with the leg drop into the cover, looking to steal the victory. Not even a one count. Well, can't knock our truth's efforts trying to take down this sinister destroyer, but he may have only pissed off carrying cross that much more. Oh no, not on the apron this time. Truth getting dropped. Spine first. He's going to feel that one on Tuesday morning. Carry and Cross continuing to institute this beatdown on our truth tonight on Raw. Cross looking to make a statement by stepping over our truth. Send an emphatic message to the Monday Night Raw locker room that Carry and Cross may just be more dangerous than ever. Look at Cross just taking his time here, playing games with our truth Better not play too many. Look at our truth in the crossbody. Hey, can't knock our truth Former tag team champion, former United States champion. Truth wants a victory just as much as the next guy. If Cross takes him lightly, our truth may pick up a monumental victory here tonight. Into the ropes. Scissors kick. Count at ref. Truth into the cover. We're gonna have a huge upset here on Raw, not just yet. Referee John Cone calling the one. Oh, and carrying cross with an elbow. We may have had enough of the games by our truth Submission hold locked in, straight jacket. Our truth thanks for coming. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Cross with the victory. Sheamus is here, the Celtic warrior, attacking Cross from behind. And what the hell is going on? The steel cage hanging up in the rafters behind the curtains. Sheamus trying to trap the Harbinger of Doom, but it may have come back to haunt him. We have got a unfortunate situation on our hands in the XL Center as Sheamus getting caught between a rock and a hard place, carrying cross adrenaline flowing, using the steel cage to take down Sheamus once more. The ambush goes a wire for a returning Celtic warrior. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event Streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. The street champ Solo Sokoa may have fell short at WrestleMania, but he has left a path of destruction over the last 12 months since his Monday Night Raw debut. Solo Sokoa is coming to collect, and we can confirm that seven nights from tonight, the street champ, the enforcer, is back on Monday Night Raw. And stemming from that loss at WrestleMania, you gotta believe Solo Sokoa is fired up to get back on track. Next week on Raw, the street champ, Solo Sokoa, returns to action. But as for tonight here in the XL Center, women's division action is on hand as Tiffany Stratton prepares to challenge Liv Morgan for the gold on April the 13th at Backlash. The following contest is scheduled.
scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. We want to take you back to two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden, the eight women over the top rope battle royal. It was down to three, but as you can see how we made it down to two, Cora Jade sending Alba fire for a ride and getting the elimination over the top rope. Unfortunately for the generation of Jade, her momentum in the matchup came to a screeching halt by hands of the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton eliminating Cora on that night and Stratton making her way to San Juan, Puerto Rico in less than three weeks to challenge Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship. And ever since that night two weeks ago, Cora Jade's been making some waves here on Raw. Battle the champion herself, Liv Morgan, tooth and nail, seven nights to go. Now test her talents in a singles matchup against the number one contender. Tiffany Stratton preparing for her matchup at... Wait a minute here. Wait a minute, Ch Chelsea Green? Well, Chelsea Green, former NXT superstar, has not been in... WWE for quite some, what the hell is going on? Cora Jade set for action against Tiffany Stratton. Stratton's here at ringside. Chelsea Green's entered the ring. Wait, what do we got a substitute on hand? Cora Jade could not have been expecting this. Green is here, live here for the first time on Monday Night Raw, and the bell has sounded, and it seems as if Chelsea Green has taken the spot of the number one contender in this matchup. Certainly not to the displeasure of Tiffany Stratton herself. Cora Jade, however, heard a bell, and is doing all she can to turn away this unexpected challenge. Well, you, I, you can't like this. I mean, the number one contender for the women's championship, Tiffany Stratton, eliminated Cora Jade from the Battle Royal two weeks ago. Cora wanted her chance to rise the ranks here on Raw, challenge the number one contender herself here tonight. Tiffany Stratton obviously not interested in competition on her road to backlash in less than three weeks. I guess an old friendship, if that's what you want to call it, or whatever this situation is. Coming to light here on Raw, Chelsea Green returning to the WWE, debuting on Raw for the very first time, and is now unexpectedly inside the squared circle, taking on this generation of Jade. I don't know what to think, but nonetheless, this is the action we got on hand, ladies and gentlemen. Calling it as we see it. Chelsea Green, Cora Jade, now the matchup here on Monday Night Raw here in Hartford. Tiffany Stratton looks on at ringside. Looking at Cora Jade, who's been making just as many waves even in defeat over the last few weeks. Oh, and Chelsea Green with a couple of mean shots there as these two women duking it out. Chelsea Green can't take her lightly. Champion all around the globe throughout her career thus far. Now back here at WWE, seemingly a part of the Monday Night Raw brand, thanks to Tiffany Stratton. I, I still don't know what to think. Hopefully we can get more information on this in the coming days, but Chelsea Green choking out Cora Jade in the corner. Obviously could not have been what Cora was expecting tonight. Canadian Destroyer by the woman from the north. Into the cover she goes. Cora Jade still alive in this matchup, but barely. Chelsea and Tiffany thought they threw off the generation of Jade. Maybe not just yet. Cora's been fighting tooth and nail, even if it's been over the last few weeks alone, to try to make her statement here on Raw, to try to break through that glass ceiling. Not looking to see her momentum come to a halt tonight and be forgotten at the return of Chelsea Green. Beautiful maneuver that time. Into the cover, only a two count. Well, I can't say we had, haven't had a great matchup so far. These two women leaving it all inside the squared circle. Or Jade and Green and Chelsea just getting their hands dirty that time. The old back break. Wait a minute, Cora. Double arm DDT. Good night. Into the cover goes Cora Jade. Thanks for coming, Chelsea Green, and welcome back. What a victory. Well, Cora obviously fired up. Thought she was getting the number one contender in Tiffany Stratton tonight. 
Lo and behold, Chelsea Green walks down the aisle. Cora gives her the fight of her life, knocks her ass out in the middle of the XL Center here on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, Cora Jade. Well, Tiffany Stratton can't be happy about that, but her substitute falls short as the generation of Jade continues to blossom each and every Monday night. Two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw, we witnessed the return of the former NXT North American Champion, the Big Aussie, the super heavyweight, Big Brunson Reed. And just over two matches over the last two weeks, Reed has sent title waves all throughout Monday Night Raw. A victory over The Miz in Madison Square Garden. And then last Wednesday night on Velocity, a victory over Baron Corbin. Well, Big Bronson Reed going to be back in action next Monday night on Raw as he has been challenged by none other than Joe Gacy. Can Gacy be the kryptonite to Reed's momentum as of late? Or is Big Bronson Reed going to continue to steamroll over the Monday Night Raw roster? And also coming your way next week on Raw, after the events of earlier tonight, it is going to be signed and sealed and set to be delivered as it is a steel cage matchup between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. These issues finally going to come to a head, locked inside the confines of the steel, seven nights from tonight. But of course, we are on the road to a massive live premiere event, Saturday night, April the 13th. 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the Coliseum, San Juan, Puerto Rico, for the 2024 Backlash. And already signed for Backlash on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown. For the first time in over two years, Roman Reigns competes inside a WWE ring as he takes on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Tensions come to a head in just under three weeks. And what about for Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship? On the line, Tiffany Stratton, who obviously refused competition tonight, will have no problem stepping in the ring with Liv Morgan when the title's on the line in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we can officially confirm that the Street Profits declaring number one contendership, staking their claim at the front of the line. They will meet Jay and Jimmy of the Usos for the World Tag Team titles at Backlash. And of course, the main event, as we talked about at the top of the hour, the fatal four-way matchup, the almighty Bobby Lashley, the biggest star, LA Knight, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, and the WWE champion himself, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. All that action and so much more coming your way in less than three weeks, Saturday night, April the 13th at Backlash. There is still action on hand here in the XL Center. It is main event time from Hartford, Connecticut, and some of Monday Night Raw's best. Set to make their way down the aisle and step inside the squared circle with tons of backlash momentum and championship implications riding on the line. Seth Rollins held the WWE Championship from August 20th, 2023 to March 3rd, 2024. The Visionary stood atop Monday Night Raw, the franchise player, the face of the red brand. Rollins looking to get back the WWE Championship that he lost in the main event of WrestleMania in less than three weeks. But it will not be an easy task, as it is not one-on-one. -on -one. It is a fatal four-way with the men he tangled with in the aisleway last week. The megastar LA Knight, and of course, the almighty Bobby Lashley. A task easier said than done is leaving Backlash with the WWE title. It is any man's ball game on Saturday night, April the 13th. But speaking of ball games, a man who's been looking for a slam dunk on his pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship. Carmelo Hayes walks down the aisle with his henchman, Trick Williams, and certainly a target on the back of this young superstar. And his partner, accompanied by Trick Williams, 
from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Well, Carmelo Hayes' pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship led him to an ambush on the champion himself, Sami Zayn, two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden. The championship across the skull of its rightful holder. Sami Zayn trying to get a measure of revenge last week after Melo's victory over Tyler Bate worked out momentarily. Similar to Kerry and Cross and Sheamus earlier tonight, it all backfired. Carmelo Hayes laying out Zayn for the second week in a row here on the Red Brand. Melo has been targeting that Intercontinental Championship. He had his eyes on it in the lead up to WrestleMania. Sami Zayn was the one who derailed those plans. And ever since Zayn left AT&T Stadium as the new champion, Melo has had his target locked on becoming the Intercontinental Champion and taking down Sami Zayn on the way. And speaking of the champions. And from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin. At the top of the hour, you saw the chaos that set Monday Night Raw off the air last week, but it was two weeks ago. Kevin Owens successfully defending his WWE title in that challenge against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. But after the bell, Seth Rollins making his presence felt. An ambush from behind on the new WWE Champion. Rollins not satisfied with the result for WrestleMania Sunday, and the Visionaries got one goal in mind getting back the title he held for seven months here on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens willing to fight anybody who is everybody. The fatal four-way coming up at Backlash. Whether he's happy about the challenges or not, Owens will face the challenge head on. Kevin Owens looks towards Backlash in less than three weeks with the fatal four-way, but tonight tag team action here on Raw. Well, championships in the pursuit of them seem to be looming around this tag team matchup tonight. And if you want to talk about the anticipation of a championship affair, look no further than Sami Zayn's long road to finally gaining another Intercontinental title match with the megastar LA Knight back on WrestleMania Saturday. Sami Zayn taking down the man who held the gold since last July, winning the Intercontinental Championship of the biggest night of the year, and has already successfully defended it against the Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio two weeks ago. But obviously a much more heavy situation on hand with Carmelo Hayes. Sami Zayn looking to get a measure of revenge in the midst of this tag team bout here tonight at Hartford. But nonetheless, it is Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins kicking things off as the bell has sounded. These two men have stepped inside the squared circle with each other on a numerous occasions over the last month and change. Whether it be tag team action or, of course, the main event of WrestleMania, they write another chapter tonight. Do Rollins and Owens and plan to write yet another one coming up in less than three weeks in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Tonight, a chance to build momentum for both of these superstars. Kevin Owens obviously still riding a high, even if he got ambushed two weeks ago. Winning the WWE title and retaining it in Madison Square Garden. Seth Rollins, in my opinion, is the one who needs this victory tonight. I'd imagine the confidence may be shaken to its core. Seth Rollins not only came up short in the main event of WrestleMania, but can't turn away the champions at Owens and Zayn here tonight. There's a tag made to Carmelo Hayes. You know, another interesting situation to talk about here is, of course, the last time Seth Rollins was in tag team action was with LA Knight. And those two men were the champions of Raw just a few days before WrestleMania, the final Raw before the grandest stage. Seth Rollins stopped dead in his tracks and let LA Knight get stuttered and pinned in the middle of the squared circle. Rollins threw him to the Wolves. LA Knight has not forgotten. Big reason why we saw them engage and Fist to cuffs in the aisle way seven nights ago were because of those events. Carmelo Hayes better watch his back if I'm concerned with his tag team partner in Seth Rollins tonight. 
On the left, there's a tag made of the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. And you gotta believe Zayn looking to get that measure of revenge tonight against the man who has left him staring at the lights over the last two weeks. The Intercontinental Champion looking hot and heavy over the last number of months on his road to the Intercontinental Championship. Now the champion wearing the gold with Carmelo Hayes on his neck. Melo getting caught up in the crosshairs and a big time suplex into the bridge. And Seth Rollins gonna break things up here, not looking for a defeat in the early going. His champions versus potential challengers here tonight. You gotta believe if Melo and Rollins get the victory or that Carmelo Hayes is gonna earn himself a number one contendership against the man he has been chasing over the last number of weeks. Continuing that beatdown on Sami Zayn. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, as we talked about earlier tonight, Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. And coming up in just 48 hours on Velocity, the man at ringside, Trick Williams, gonna have his hands full with the megastar, LA Knight. LA Knight looking to build some more momentum towards Backlash. Big win over the almighty Bobby Lashley last week, but can he turn away the young and promising Trick Williams this Wednesday on Velocity? Owen's getting tagged in, but look at Mello from the top. Springboard crossbody. The champion's in trouble here on Raw. The tag made to Seth Rollins. And I gotta say, Rollins has teamed up with Shinsuke Nakamura. He's teamed up with LA Knight. Now he's teamed up with Carmelo Hayes all in the last month and change here in the WWE. Rollins and Mello looking like the most well-oiled machine out of all those teams. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn with a long tenured history. Best friends for years upon years. They know each other like the back of their hand. It is certainly an uphill battle for Rollins and Mello to climb here tonight. Nonetheless, we are down to a one-on-one -on -one match at the very moment inside that ring with two men who know each other very well. Two men who had an amazing main event regardless of the result on WrestleMania Sunday. Oh, look at this inside cradle by the WWE Champion here. I don't know, I think the referee was calling Rollins' shoulders, not down, however. Kevin Owens trying to get an edge in this matchup, but Seth Rollins continuing just to throw any strike he possibly can at Owens, and a super kick takes him down. Rollins is so desperate for victory tonight, you gotta believe that. Losing his title at WrestleMania, now knowing another championship opportunity looms in the distance. There's certainly a big fight feel here tonight in the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Just two weeks away from the draft lottery and just less than three weeks from Backlash. Look at Owens, German suplex trying to get back into this matchup. Dumping your opponent on the back of their dome, certainly a way to do so. The WWE Champion fired up, tagging in the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Zayn and Rollins mixing it up once more in the middle of tag team action. Oh, look at Zayn. I think he's almost egging Rollins on to get that tag, or maybe not. I'm sure Zayn's got no problem fighting Seth Rollins, but I'm sure he's itching to get his hands on Carmelo Hayes that much more. Sami Zayn. Another fisherman buster that time. Looks not to go for the bridge. Rollins down, Zayn heading to the top rope. The Intercontinental Champion looking to take flight, maybe not. Rollins getting to his feet. Zayn trying to take him down again. And another suplex that time. Zayn being forced to keep it simple yet effective. And now a tag back to the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Rollins! Taking out Owens with the swing blade and takes out Sami Zayn as well. Business pick it up. Owens with a stutter! Rollins never saw it coming. Rollins able to get the shoulder up. A parallel to the main event of WrestleMania. Rollins was able to survive the stunners on that night, at least momentarily. Owens now trying to keep the offense going, unfortunately for the champion. The visionary getting out of harm's way. Kick to the gut. Rollins looking to dish it. Right back with a pedigree to the champion. Going for the cover, however, he is near enemy territory. A naive mistake by one of the men who will challenge for the WWE title in San Juan, Puerto Rico. 
may not have gotten the cover, but continuing to stack the offense on the WWE Champion. Great action tonight here on Monday Night Raw. What about what we got lined up next week? The street champ Solo Sokoa returns for the first time since WrestleMania. Big Brunson Reed back in action against Joe Gacy. And of course, the steel cage main event between the Celtic warrior Sheamus and the harbinger of doom carrying cross. Those two men looking to settle the score once and for all. First 48, Mello. Score the victory over Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, not just yet. Mello getting tagged in and immediately doing some work. Unfortunately, the WWE Champion still with life. Left in him, springboard, tornado, down goes Mello. Kevin Owens has taken some big offense from these two superstars in this matchup. Much needed tag to the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Fortunately, did not work out for him that time. Carmelo Hayes itching to get his hands on Zayn. Melo knows what's on hand tonight. A victory over these champions has got to put him in line for an opportunity at the Intercontinental title. Wait a minute. Sami Zayn out of nowhere. Blue Thunderbomb. And Melo getting the shoulder up. Another close call and an exhilarating tag team main event. Blue Thunder does not do it. Mello pops up with the Lariat. Oh, wait a minute this time. Kevin Owens and Mello mixing it up in the corner. Mello taking down both men in a thrust kick. Down goes the Intercontinental Champion. Mello may have the number without even hearing a bell against Sami Zayn. Laying about two weeks in a row. Now in the middle of this tag team matchup, victory is of the utmost importance for the former NXT Champion. The Intercontinental Champion looking dazed and confused, or maybe not. Nice reversal. Mello gets taken down in enemy territory. Kevin Owens looking all getting his wits about it. They're going to knock off the apron modes ago. Mello trying to avoid disaster in the champion's corner. Into the corner, Sami Zayn goes, knocks him down, and Mello taking care of Kevin Owens. Look at the divide and conquer. Here in the main event on Monday Night Raw, Mello. He's got Sammy trapped and he's got his lights turned off. Mello into the cover to pick up a huge tag team victory. Not just yet. The Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn is still alive. And now Mello going to the top. Oh, but Sami Zayn is still on his own two feet. Look at that beautiful maneuver. Can never knock the talents of this superstar who has made waves since his Monday Night Raw debut last year, that being Carmelo Hayes. Sami Zayn with his back against the wall has got to get back in this matchup. Melo's been dominating over the last few minutes, even took the WWE Champion off the apron, but now is the time for Sami Zayn to get his wits about him in this matchup. Big Boot may as, may as well have been a halluva kick. A referee at his back a little bit turned. I think Trick Williams took the turnbuckle pad off the corner, and it comes back to benefit Carmelo Hayes that time. Excuse me. Nonetheless, the matchup rolls on as we try to keep up with the action here in the XL Center. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion, the WWE Champion, going 2v2 against Carmelo Hayes, as well as the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Melo again with that cutter! Innovative as all hell! And Kevin Owens breaking things up. And that may have been all she wrote. Wait a minute, I think Seth Rollins is looking to take out the WWE Champion. Meanwhile, Melo with a frog splash! Dead center of the ring! Carmelo Hayes has pinned the Intercontinental Champion in the main event. Seth Rollins finding himself a tag team partner that actually works to his benefit. Rollins and Melo taking down the champions of Monday Night Raw here tonight in Hartford.
Seth Rollins has got to be smiling from ear to ear, knowing momentum is on his side as he approaches backlash in less than three weeks. But what about Carmelo Hayes? He calls himself him. He may be calling himself number one contender, laying out Sami Zayn, now three weeks in a row, pitting the Intercontinental Champion. Are we looking at a future champion here on Raw?